Hello and welcome to another episode of my F122 Drive Grid Mode. Here today for the final round of Season 3 in what is a four way title decider. So we're going to qualify and this is just the most difficult to get through because we have to spend only the actual race to win. As we come up to the line, it will be more difficult. That could look a bit far, but we will drop down to the line and that is where we all start this spring. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's sprint. Lando Norris put in a fantastic lap yesterday, and he will start from pole position. And the smooth operator, Carlos Sainz, completes the front row. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Fernando Alonso, Leclerc, Max Verstappen and Hamilton, Russell, Perez, Brown and Yuki Tsunoda, Gasly, Ocon, Alex Albert and Oscar Piastri, Magnussen, Joe, Mick Schumacher and Lance Stroll, Schwartzman and Nicholas Latifi. And with preparations almost complete, let's head trackside for today's sprint. That's one of the not to score any points in the sprint. There goes Sinoda down the inside. Sorry about that, sorry. I've just got past four cars. That was it. Just caught a nap in. Sorry, I can't help it. The gap's there and going on there. That start was okay, now stay alert for threats around you. Come on, Tyson's out here. Um, Charles is in the lead. No, that's not good. A bit of contact there. Just lost the back end. Right. We need to do it. How much in from 2021 here? But from the start there, a lot further forward. Right. So it's day one. We can help each other out here. Day one, don't. I'm sorry, I've been sitting just there and passed up on games. Oh, I feel like the DRS up here. And now you made me go sit in dark, haven't you? Okay, clear. Don't give me a... Oh, thanks! Do one! Look, we can help each other out if you just back off. Because look, you're right behind. M2. You want to win this championship as much as I do, then battling each other isn't the way. Why does Sides have to fight me? Because I was in his Max's DRS. Another lap or so I could have had him, but no, now I've got to break into the DRS now. My well, Sides breathing down my neck. But he could have just left it, sat there, and we could possibly be past both of them. Right. This is Yuki Tsunoda now in the Alpine, going very quickly, but now going very slowly as he has a massive issue. And he's slowing down and he's slowing him down. He's sending him, he's to go from the back. Rob is looking up and good result to send him up to the front of the race. But more poor reliability for Alpine means Tsunoda is out in the Brazil Sprint. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Still pulling away in the front. Okay, this is your final lap. Final lap of the race. You've lost some time to the car behind. 
เจ้าเราจะเข้าไปในบ่อยเปลี่ยนหมายซื้อซักของเราครับเมื่อดูสตาร์จังก็แล้วเราจะเดินช้ำไปเฉยๆแล้วเราจะเดินช้ำไปเฉยๆแล้วเราจะเดินช้ำไปเฉยๆ Where does win the title, isn't he? He needs two points to win the title. He has to retire, but all three of us have to win. And Leclerc has to finish tenth. You know, this film race is just ruined the title designer. There's no unless Lando Kamikaze sight and Leclerc at the start. So Let's just focus on the, the constructors which we can get if we finish one two. So this brute may have made this race utterly pointless in terms of the championship. Charles Leclerc just needs to finish and he is world champion. We've got a lot of work to do, we've just got to go for it at the start. We have absolutely nothing to lose going into the final race. So here is the grid. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday and it's put him on pole, edging out Lando Norris, who will start from P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Fernando Alonso, Verstappen, Brown and Sainz, Hamilton, Russell, Perez and Esteban Ocon, Albon, Magnussen, Mick Schumacher and Gasly, Schwarzman, Stroll, Oscar Piastri and Guan Yu Zhou. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Latifi and Yuki Tsunoda. And now it's time to head down to the track. There's still a chance we can win this championship, so go out there and bring back the title. I think Mark there is a bit over the top, but there's no chance we can win this title. But anything can happen in Formula 1, and of course it usually does, as a great Murray Walker once said. But we're going to be doing a one-stop medium to the hard tyres, and we'll see where that gets us in 36 laps time. One final time then. We're racing in 2024. Uh, once again, we've been off the line. Yeah. Dive bomb in the two McLarens. But if Charles Leclerc leads, then he's currently in world champion position. So if we skip on to lap 7, you can see Leclerc here in the lead, controlling the Grand Prix. Head of Alonso and the staff of Alonso got the podium here last season. We unfortunately just didn't have the pace to live with Lando, we just physically can't catch him, we're dropping further and further back, but we are keeping the gap to the two Mercedes behind, so hopefully there's a little bit more in this for us. But on to lap 11 now, this is Leclerc from the lead of the race, he's had on the soft tyres, though he comes in to make his one and only stop onto the mediums. So they don't think if they can go that far, so they shall see. But in the background, Red Bull have helped the Stappen to get the jump on a run, so. Fair play, Red Bull. Great for them. But where will he come back out, Charles Leclerc, as we 
And the further up the road, he's going to be behind the Alpine off Sonoda. And he's doing a bit of a recovery drive after the sprint in that DNF. Let's keep an eye on that until lap 12. One lap later, Carlos Sainz, also on the softs, comes into the pits to make this one around the stop of the day. And we'll come on to the, the medium compound tyres as well. And out of the pits he goes. And this is Leclerc rounding the third corner. There is Carlos Sainz. Three goes to stop and three just about goes along so. And slots in there behind his fellow Spaniard. No. Why is there an issue there? The championship. I need the Avenger for this race because he had it. Don't you dare. Okay, we have a severe engine issue. No! God's sake, Mark. There goes our championship chance. No, you're gonna get the game that's trash in here. Joke. Absolute joke. And so the celebrations begin, and well earned they are indeed. It may have looked simple at times, but as any racing driver will tell you, at this level and the very top is anything but simple there's no catching them now then we have a new world drivers champion it's been a roller coaster season then but they can go into the winter with their heads held high after an emphatic victory here today so Anthony what made the difference out there today I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out on track was speed I know it sounds like an awfully inductive statement, but fast cars win races, and we saw that today with our winner. Leclerc, the 2024 world champion, now free on the bounce in this career mode, all winning all three seasons, second place, sealed the deal for him and the fastest lap. Carlos Sainz dropped to P4, Lando though getting the last win of the season, back to back wins for him here in Brazil and a frustrating race for us. It was looking okay, we could have maybe challenged towards the end. I wanted to try and do the soft strategy and then go at the end, but no, engine wouldn't let us. We came so close to the championship where that result in Monza cost us massively, but then we retired from this race anyway, so the Monza race kind of doesn't matter. Charles Leclerc, your new world champion for 2024, really kicked on in the last half of the season. One in Monza was untouchable there and untouchable in Mexico. And pretty untouchable here to the but Lando managed to get the better win. So in the end we finished fourth in the strategy championships, 43 points off the top. As you can see, Lando second, 19 points behind. And in the end then, there was three drivers. who never got a point. Schumacher, Schwarzman and Joe. As you were saying, the constructors. The Ferrari the constructors were champions. So again, this year, they just fell short of 31 points behind. We really needed to finish up to help Lando, but... Red Bull third, 
Albion 4, we played this terribly kindly. And season, I just managed to get P6, Williams P8, and a Fasti Martin P9, and Alfa Romeo, the one and only team not to pick up a single point in 2024. So that's been the, the 2024 season. That you've enjoyed it. Shorter season, really put pressure on ourselves, and we've cracked under it. So it was the energy store that went bang on us. Mark said that that was born, and Lewis Hamilton has also retired now after a pretty poor final Grand Prix for him, unfortunately. But you can see here the two regulation changes aero and the chassis. You can see also the RD as well. And we will have to see where that puts all of us after the winter. We'll be back with that very soon to start season four. But in the meantime, this season has belonged to Charles Leclerc. Goodbye.